Alrighty guys, today is the day we're gonna start finally tearing into the motor. We have a lot to get done. I know we, we talked about getting Bondo done on the cab of the Jeep, which is something that honestly shouldn't take too long. It's just sanding that needs to be done, which is the hard part. Uh, starting on that, getting the frame fully prepped for Pour 15 once we check over all the welds, get it sanded down. But I think our next goal is gonna be getting this thing torn down and ready for new gasket seals and any new parts that we wanna throw onto it. Yeah, so I think we're just going to get this all the way down to heads off, intake off, water pump off, which is already off, yep. front harmonic balancer. We'd like to take this thing all the way down to look at the bearings and just see how far into the engine we need to go without doing a complete rebuild. Yeah, and, and we talked about earlier today, if it needs to be done later down the road, then we'll do it. Um, it there's so much room in this engine bay. If we ever have to pull this thing out, we can. It's not a big deal. Uh, we just want to get it in, running, get this thing, this project on on the roll, on the roll, on the road, on the off-road trail. So, um, and uh, Marco said it was running when he pulled it. Yeah, he said he it, was. Yeah, he said it did run when they pulled it out of the vehicle. What we do know about it is it's a '76 350 four bolt main. Quadrajet carburetor. Those of you that know anything about Quadrajets, they're not always the easiest and funnest carburetors to... Funnest? To funnest, that's a good word. But we are going to rebuild it. Yeah, we, we're going to rebuild it. Well, Ult ultimately, go yeah. we're going to do fuel some injection. fuel injection. So that's our long-term goal. Yeah, we, we figured, I mean, fuel injections for a quality kit's two grand. And I mean, we don't want to invest a ton of money into this. We already have a carburetor right here. If someone wants to give us a fuel injection kit, by all means, then we'll, we'll run it. But we're just not ready to spend the $2,000 on that right now. We have this, we'll run it, we'll rebuild it, make sure it's running top notch. And if we come into the funds to uh, get the fuel injection kit, then we'll do it. But yeah. uh, obviously fuel injection for reliability, fuel economy, performance, all those Off-road, when off -road. you're off camber, yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we don't have to worry about, things. you know, fuel in the float bowls and all that good stuff. But enough talking because we always do that a lot. Let's just start tearing into this thing. We'll show you guys if we find anything wrong and we'll just start taking everything off. Here we go. All right. Pretty loose. Let's so. put this on the bottom because the heads will go here. All right. It's heavy, it's cast iron, dude. Good, yeah, we're getting an aluminum one for sure. Yeah. All right. Roll it over. Might have water come out, so just gotta be ready. There's still water in the jack. Yep. Let's keep going. That's nasty. That's gonna stop. Let's go the other way. This is loose. Keep going. Yep. Oh! So God! Going. Uh, it's going to hit this one next anyways. So, just because of the spacers in there. Oh my God, that smells so bad, dude. Okay guys, we have here the motor. Yesterday we got it broken down as much as we could. Took everything off that we basically wanted to take off. And now what's the next plan? Well, so we talked a little bit about um, maybe just doing a basic rebuild on it without going crazy. Um, being that it's hopefully all stock, nothing's been done to it yet, the goal would be just to pull it apart all the way, crank, pistons, the whole nine yards. And we've got a local machine shop that we know pretty well, and I talked to the guy this morning, and hopefully if we can just get the cylinders honed, we can put new rings in it, new bearings, he'll put new uh, cam bearings in it, and we would like to do just a mild cam, nothing radical, right? Yeah. Just something that's streetable for trails and all. And then we would uh, also have him do a valve job on the heads. And he would do all that, we get everything back, put it together, and that should be a pretty good budget build for the yep. motor. Yep. So, so I think what we'll do today is just go ahead and um, maybe just clean up a little bit more on here, set it off to the side. We've got a lot more work to do on the frame. Yeah, we've got some stuff to finish welding like we talked about yesterday. And then we'd also like to start putting some uh, Bondo on the actual tub itself to get it all smooth and flat because we don't want it to be ugly all the time. So 
I think that's what we're gonna get done today. The welding shouldn't be too much, but uh, you guys will see us put some Bondo on the tab. tub. Guys, check out these check out these safety glasses I just got. Just from Amazon. I feel like I look like a nerd. nerd. Pretty cool though. They have like little side protectors. I know uh, Heatwave I think makes a pair like this, but they're only like 10 bucks on Amazon and they're cooler than like the all clear ones, so I'm gonna see how they do. And it's got like rubber on the sides, like here. Which is kind of nice to stay on your head. So, uh, you're wearing actual glasses because you're blind. Yeah, so this is dual function. Safety and... They're not safety. Another thing we're also doing today is tackling little things like this. So like welding those shock towers, we're also going to be doing this. My dad's going to trim these up so they match. They're all rounded. As you can see, there was already a previous line where it was going to be trimmed. But uh, just to take off that corner, are you going to do it on the inside? Yeah. Uh, I don't think, since no one's going to see that, even just, though it is a small detail, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and do these. Yep, so do both do both sides, and then uh, we're also going to get things like this capped up there, and then this right here. So, And then we're going to get this whole thing sanded down. So maybe I'll start sanding while you do that. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. All right. All right. All right, guys, while Lucas is over here sanding, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna mock up a couple pieces for these end caps right here. So we're gonna go ahead and put some plates on this. We'll get those welded in place, clean them up a little bit. That way we don't get a lot of mud and crap going inside there. All right, so just a quick update on these uh, end caps that we put on. This is the passenger side. It's been pretty much welded in place, ground all the welds down. And this is what it looked like on this side before. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this one and get it uh, all ground down. I can do it. Mother fricker. To, uh, why don't we do this, why don't we tip it? Yeah, I was gonna say, let's just, Tip it, and then we'll slide those underneath of it. Well, I was gonna say just tip it this way. Tip oh. it that way, get one underneath. All right, so here. I got you, all right. Got Let's you. take just... that out. So here, I'll lift, take the... All right, guys, we'll show you what we've been working on. My dad, you guys saw him take care of these end caps right here on both sides. They look really good. There's that one right there. Uh, little things like we mentioned yesterday, these caps are or just these pieces to clean, to clean it up a little bit on both sides. Still a work in progress. That one's 
looking pretty good. Um, as for the tub, I know we mentioned we were going to start some body work. So I've already started sanding this thing down a little bit just with some 60 grit stuff or 80 grit um, to get everything off. All these previous welds, I mean, this isn't going to be a Concord level restoration of body work and paint, but we do want it to look fairly decent. So I think we're just going to do kind of a, a dirty, just get it all down to metal and just bondo it, get it flat as possible. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if, if we're going to be doing this, we might as well try to get it as good as possible and perfect yeah. our technique. But like Lucas said, you know, let's just get it kind of dialed in, cleaned up as flat as possible, get our bondo going. Yep. Yeah, so we're going to start working on this, get some bondo done or started at least so you guys can see that process. I want to keep giving you guys some content on this, this build and what we've been doing. We are going to Antietam Brewery, I believe that's what it's called, this Saturday. So I'm going to film a video of that and going up there, Jeeps and all that stuff. So if you guys are going to be there, cool. Can't wait to see you guys. Um, hopefully some of you guys show up. That'd be pretty cool. I'll have flags and stickers just handing them out. But um, yeah, we're going to keep getting to work on this. And uh, yeah, that's all. So uh, we're going to start grinding some stuff down and get some Bondo laid. So looking at this stuff now, it's not in the best best of shape. Um, it, we have a lot of work to do in order to get this all flat, but I just realized, and um, I think we have some here, but the previous owner was gonna cover all this with armor, and it's a good thing because on my Jeep, I know this corner is very vulnerable. Um, you guys saw on my Jeep, if you have there, we hit a tree and it also kind of nicked this corner. So. I think what we're going to do is get this stuff as flat as possible, clean it up really well, and then eventually we'll just have some, maybe some aluminum armor made for this corner, and then it'll hide all this stuff, especially when we have the sliders down here, uh, because those will be necessary. But some nice aluminum corner armor to cover all this stuff up, um, because we're going to need it anyways, and I don't think we're going to have to spend as much time as I thought we were going to have to to get all this nice and flat. But we are going to work on it, get some Bondo on it, um, and take care of it. Just I thought that you know these were gonna be you know something that you just just like the spreader you know everything would just pop right off but it doesn't it bonds to it. As you guys can see, we got this sanded down. The stuff that I put on top first is called Guide Coat. This is what's gonna let you see the highs and lows. So the stuff right here, the where it's still black, is where it's there's some low spots. Everything else got sanded down and is now even somewhat. Um, so we can go ahead and put another layer on this. Uh, we added some Bondo to the other side. Uh, we still have a lot of tack welds and stuff to take care of around the outside and then eventually we're going to need to flip the whole thing over and take care of some body mount issues we're probably just going to cut them all out and replace them all just to make things easier um, but that's about it for now 
We have a lot more sanding and body work to do that you guys will definitely see. So don't worry if you if you care to see all this stuff, you will definitely see it. Um, but that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.